So you've got a bearded dragon, and it's just not eating, and you don't know what to do. Well, I'm here to give you some tips and tricks to how to make your bearded dragon eat hopefully somewhat better for you. So let's check out some tips and tricks to do that. So if you guys know anything about bearded dragons, you know that they are supposed to get a mainly leafy lettuce diet with lots of greens and, and good lettuces, not necessarily iceberg. So I get this red and green leaf mix from Walmart, and it is fantastic. I always make sure I get the one without the spinach because spinach can inhibit some of the absorption of vitamins in bearded dragons' bodies. A little bit here and there slipping in won't, you know, be the end of the world, but I like to keep it out of there. So I just buy the baby red and green leaf spinach bin. Then we have our lettuce. Now, some dragons, like Pringle, will gobble this up as is. Some dragons, like Penelope, have finally gotten to the point where they did, but I used to have to force feed her, and Ned is still very picky. So there's a few things you can do to spice this up to try and get them to eat. First off, you can try some fruit, but you don't want to give them tons of fruit because it can give them diarrhea and it can cause obesity. But today, as a treat, because Penelope loves them so much, I'm going to throw like four blueberries in there to kind of entice her. Then the other thing for color I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little squash. Now, I don't use enough squash to warrant buying a whole squash for the dragons. But what I'll do, because it needs to be cooked anyway, because they can't chew it if it's hard, is I buy the frozen squash and I thaw a couple pieces and then I chop it up. It's a more economical way to do it. The frozen squash lasts longer and it gives them that color in the salad that will really entice them to eating. Next thing I do is I add some mealworms to the salad. If you hear people say, make the salad move, this adds movement to the salad. They'll see the mealworms kind of hunting in there, and then they will go ham for it, trying to get some mealworms, and they'll accidentally get the lettuce too. I also add a little bit of calcium and a little bit of Reptivite a couple times a week to the top of the salad, and it's ready to go. All right, now we're going to see how Penelope likes her salad now that it's all vitamined up. Ooh, look, she's waiting for us. She's excited. Let's get that in there. Hey, P. I know. And sometimes, too, guys, your dragons don't want to be watched while they're eating. So I'm going to close this door and back up a little bit and see what she does. Oh, she's checking it out. Oh, 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 we have a winner. She is nomming that squash. She likes it, friends. Look at her. She's like, why are you watching me eat? This is weird. Yep. Okay, sorry. I was trying to get a view for the folks that want to see you eat, baby girl. All right, I'll leave her alone because she definitely doesn't. Oh, there she goes. As soon as I say I'm going to leave her alone, she goes and eats that. But see how well she's eating that salad now? She didn't used to eat salad at all. So definitely a winner there. Pringles, my beast of an eater, no matter what. He's like a dumpster. Yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. He is the cutest. And we're going to nom away. He's the happiest boy. He just loves life. And the only reason I haven't put him in one of the... Uh, dubia.com enclosures is because this boy loves his window view and when he doesn't poop on his hammock yeah I know you pooped on your hammock don't give me that look it sits there and he just sits and looks out the window all day long but right now his hammock's in the wash because somebody pooped in his hammock and you can see he does not give a care in the world so these are my go-tos when I am having issues with my kids eating um, as far as supplements. I have this Rapashi Chicken Pot Pie. I use that for my PBS, my Peter's Banded Skink. 
Um, he eats some crickets, but just to make sure he's getting complete nutrition, I do give him this. It's a gel premix that you make, and they'll either lap it up, or sometimes I water it down a little extra and I syringe feed it. Um, for your carnivores, like your bearded dragons, leopard geckos, things like that, I use the Grub Pie by Rapashi. And then if they're just really not eating, they're not really taking the Rapashi well, they're just not stimulated to eat at all, they're not in brumation, I use Fluker's Rep to Boost. This stuff actually saved Penelope's life when I first got her. Um, she just was not eating at all. And I was trying to make sure that, you know, she would survive. But she got really stressed from the move. Her body condition wasn't the best. So I went ahead and after about two weeks of syringe feeding her that every other day, I got her eating and now she's thriving and doing great. So that one is really, really good if you're really struggling to get them to eat and you're super concerned. It makes sure they've got all the nutrients they need. Plus it's got that appetite stimulant. As always, if your animals are not eating well, you obviously want to monitor their weight and also get a vet involved, but these are my tips and tricks to kind of get them stimulated, see if they'll eat, and make sure that they are not nutritionally deficient. Now you might be saying to yourself too, okay, I've done all that, I've added stuff to the salads, everything looks good, but my dragon still won't eat anything. So if they go a while without eating, Definitely something you want to do is monitor their weight, especially this time of year. They could be brumating and if they're not losing weight mass, it's nothing you need to be concerned of. If they start losing weight, that's when you get concerned, probably want to get a vet involved. If they come back healthy and they're just stubborn, a couple other things you can do. My tried and true go-to is always hornworms. Hornworms are full of water, not a ton of nutrition, but they get them eating and it'll get them rehydrated because of all the water content in these guys. I always keep a bunch, and these guys, these guys have like tripled in size from yesterday. I also feed them off as treats to different animals, so they love their hornworms, they love getting those as treats, and like I said, plus it keeps them super hydrated, which is fantastic. Um, another thing you can try that I use with my Leopard gecko is waxworms. Waxworms are really good too. Again, they're high in fat, so they're not a staple diet, but they're definitely a good stimulating diet. Percy loves hornworms. Percy. Bruce. Bruce. Oh, oh. Bruce. It's good to make them chase their food a little bit because it's enrichment for them. It's like, ah, no. Oh, I dropped it and he got it. There he goes. Yeah. He's got to bread it before he eats it. As always. <laughs> oh jeez, he's all over the place. He's so much fun to watch eat. I'm gonna feed him mice later. <laughs> this is just an appetizer.